How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Boilai Hobby Time. As you can see here, I just bought a Jeep. And as the proud new owner of a Jeep, I felt obligated to get into four-wheeling. As one does. I wasn't content with the boring run-of-the-mill old trails that you'd find most Jeeps on. Instead, I wanted something scary and monstrous and outside the box. And speaking of outside the box, I've been watching a lot of Geo San Pedro's unboxing videos recently. and I really enjoy them. And once all of my pieces were outside the box, the next step was to take them all off their sprues. And once they were all removed from the sprues, I organized them on my hobby mat. And began assembly. The model kit was fun and easy to assemble, and even had some working shock absorbers assist while driving off-road, which is all the time, because since buying this Jeep I haven't driven on a single paved road. It's a Jeep thing. This build is a part of an art challenge for my patrons. The theme they voted on was ATVs. Technically I don't think a Jeep is considered an ATV, it's more like an MTV, but in this case I think that counts. And after I was done assembling most of the car, I took it outside and I primed it black. I'll be leaving pretty much the entirety of the inside of the car black, so I'll set that aside for now. I put the body on a painting stand and I gave it a base coat of brown before going over top of that with a dark red. The red wouldn't show up the same way if I sprayed it directly onto the black, so the brown base coat really helped. I then put the body over top of the rest of the vehicle and I snapped it into position. I put the windshield in place and I painted on a few other details and then I dusted up the whole thing with the sandy color from the airbrush. I cleaned up the windshield where the wipers would have and then the Jeep was done and it was time to move on to the base. For the base I decided to use this wooden canvas and began visualizing how I wanted it to look. I grabbed a bunch of leftover foam and began cutting it to size using a hot wire. After I had some large pieces for the foundation of the terrain, I began stacking up the foam to create a slope. I glued the pieces together with foam safe super glue and began carving. The goal for the terrain was to have it look similar to the pile of boulders that I installed in my driveway to park my Jeep on top of. It's always a good idea for Jeeps to sleep in their natural environment. It's a Jeep thing. Once I had the main lower section established, I built up a section on the back and I carved it down to look more natural. Then it was time to make it look less natural. Like I mentioned at the beginning, a normal off-road trail just wasn't going to cut it for this diorama. I wanted a real monster of a trail, literally. So I added a row of teeth along both the top and the bottom of the rock formation, and then it was time to throw on a terrain paste. I mixed up plaster, paint, and Mod Podge, and I watered it down to a thin, brushable consistency, and I covered all of the foam surfaces with it. I left that to dry, and once it was dry, I threw on some gloves and I mixed up some Sculptamold. I'm using this Sculptamold layer to build up what could be referred to as the gums around the protruding rock teeth. Sculptamold is great for this kind of thing and has a nice packed earth look when it's dry. I then threw on a little bit more Mod Podge to help stick down some gravel and sand. This will help the trail look a little bit more trail-like. I used isopropyl alcohol and watered down white glue to seal all the texture in place. I sprinkled on a little bit more sand on top of that and then I let it air dry with a hair dryer. After it had actually all air dried, I took it outside and I primed it. Legend has it that this rock formation in Utah is indeed the mouth of a sleeping titan. There are reports of people disappearing from this section of trail, mysteriously, but no one has ever witnessed it. The trail is quite remote and only sees occasional off-road enthusiasts during the summer months. Luckily, jeeps are too strong to be eaten by titans. This is a well-known fact. You can look it up. 
Speaking of off-road enthusiasts though, I needed one to sit in the Jeep. I found this 1 to 24 scale figure and I cut his legs off so he'd be able to fit in the vehicle. He was originally standing. I gave him a quick paint job and I threw him in the vehicle before painting the sides of the diorama black. After painting the sides of the diorama, I added some tufts of grass to give it a little life. I then glued the Jeep into position and I added some final bits of foliage that I got from Diorama Persepe. After gluing the last of those little plants into their positions, I called it good. Before my final shots, please take a moment to appreciate the submissions from my patrons for the ATV Art Challenge. A few of them have channels of their own, which you should definitely go check out after this. Thank you very much to all of the patrons who participated in this month's art challenge. That is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Huge shout out as always to my patrons. You guys are the best. Have an awesome week, everyone. I'll see you next time.